Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers, and I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow this morning, and I, I know I never am excited. You're like, yeah, you're just always kind of boring. Well, today I have something that I am really excited about. I mean, truly, probably over the top excited. And it is all about labels. Okay, label, labels, labels. We love our little labels when we're junk journaling. But these are not just any normal kind of labels. These are hidden paper clip labels. Okay. All right, I hope your mind's going where I've been. So, let me show you what I've created. Of course, I have created a new kit, a digital kit to make these fun labels, okay? So here's the kit. The kit includes four sheets. The first one is multicolor. You will get enough for eight different colors, four large. So eight small, four large. Let's be clear on that. And you will cut down the middle and work on those and then work on these. Well, I started thinking, well, if I want all blue, I'm going to have to print a bunch of this. So, or red. So red's the next color. So I've done a red and a blue and a brown so that you can print if your if your theme is more red, if you want that more um, standard looking type label. Okay? Now, I'm just thinking about pastels, and then I am going to do labels that have like uh, vintage looking writing and stamping in there. Now, there's no reason that you cannot stamp these yourself. If you've got those awesome stamp sets that have uh, numbers and label, I mean numbers and, yes, numbers and label things, Yes, but I'm going to do that for you, but in, a, in another kit coming soon. As soon as I'm done filming this and getting this posted, I will most likely be working on that. But let's go ahead and let's make some labels. Okay, so my first take, I started. And what I want to tell you is I cut them all by hand. I did not use my trimmer. I did not score them. And you know how much I love my scoreboard. I did not score them because I know a lot of a lot of my subscribers and viewers don't have a scoreboard. Now you do have scissors. So we want to get our scissors and we need glue and we need glue that you can put a small bead of glue with okay glue stick no don't even try I just I haven't done it I imagine you probably could but don't okay so first things first I cut my sheet like this I cut it in half and I work on my large ones and then I'll work on my small ones so this is one that I've got left from doing my large ones. I've got the blue, so I'm folding it in half, and this, I've already folded it in take one, which I called them all tags. They're not tags, they're labels. So I had to start all over. Okay, and if you write along there, you're gonna have a little space, use some Distress Ink, and then you'll fold up at the bottom of the label on both sides, All right, like that. And at this moment, you might be tempted to start clipping 
don't do that. Not yet. All right. Now, when I print, my printer gives me white space all the way around. Now, these don't matter. We're going to cut those off. Don't cut off this white, okay? It is actually helpful. So don't cut off the white. The white is going to be the longer side of it, and that's where we're going to put our clip. And let's back up. Clips, not big, okay? The reason if we used a big clip, this tag would have to get huge, and we're trying to stay cute and small. So use the small clips. Here in the US, um, you can get them different places and I think they're called the number one and I'm looking at this from Walmart and it's just called jumbo it doesn't say a number two okay all right so small clips very important not the big ones come here so after we folded you're gonna look and the one side that is closest to your fold let me just distress there so you can see that on both of them okay the one side that's closest to the fold is where we're going to put the clip and I after making this many <laughs> I want the the larger part of the paper clip inside and the reason is as we are applying the glue we want as much of the paper clip to get glued to the paper so I'm gonna put okay some glue I'm pretty much covering this whole side that has the paper clip on it a little in the inside and around there okay and then I'm going to fold it over on itself and I'm going to use like a, an old, old gift card or loyalty card and then just make sure I've got a good adherence to that glue on that side of our clip okay all right and now on this side and when I was doing all of these I was doing them in mass and bulk so I went this far with all of them so I had all these with just the paper clip glued onto that side whether it's your right or your left it depends on how you're holding it so I got all those done and then I went on to the next step, which is to put a thin strip of glue right along that side and that side. And with the others that I did earlier this week, we didn't do this, but because we're going to clip those corners, run some along that bottom. Now here's where we come up and around and tuck that back under that clip and kind of just coax it to be where you want it to be okay and then we're going to do that same thing because we want that glue distributed and we want it on the bottom too all right now if we didn't clip the corners we'd be done but we got to clip these corners but I think I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to do a small one. So again, I'm folding it in the center. I can see already that I did not trim very well. I've still got some of that red label that was next to it. All right, 
fold up the bottom of that label. And at this point, you can look and see if you trimmed good. By doing it by hand, you will most likely need to make a little bit of adjustment in your trim. You can see right there. Okay. And again, I see this side is the closest to my fold. So I'm going to put the large side of the paper clip inside. And I am putting glue on there, a little inside there on these corners because we're going to clip those. We want them, we want them nicely adhered. Okay. Get a nice kind of we'll push that extra glue out. All right. And now along this side, and yes, I could be distressing all this inside and the outside just in case, but for speed, I'm not. This just comes around, tucks right down in there, kind of coax it. I see some trimming I need to do, possibly. Sometimes you just need to even it out, but it looks like that does need to be trimmed off right there. Again. And fingers are good enough. It's just kind of nice to get a nice flat in, in by that clip. Okay. Not going to clip those corners yet. One more. And then I will have made the full sheet of multicolor. Okay. And then fold up. I mean, it's just so easy. And this is definitely something you can do while you're watching TV. You can make them at lunch if you have to go to work have them all printed out. All right. And I can see I need to even that one up. How's that other one? Looks pretty good. All right. Paper clip the large side in. Glue a little in the inside, around the outside of it, on that bottom. Okay, fold it over. Let's get our little card here. I can already see I've got something uneven. Just a little. And one thing I want to say is because these straddle or I'm not sure what I want to say what word I want to say they're going to be on two different sides of the paper you really don't obsess about them looking the same as you're making them like uh, if you see part of the other one but you look at the other side and it looks okay because you won't see it once it's on the page. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean in one second. Let's just add. I'm just, that's probably what I'm saying right now. Okay. We're done with the glue. So uh, the, you're going to have lots of little snippets. So get yourself a little container to do your little snippets in and we're going to trim off the corners. We'll do all the top. Trim that. Yeah, that's good. If you hit the 
hit it. I see a little bit there. All right, and this one, the top little corner. Okay, and let's see, that one looks like it can be just a little more on that side. Okay, and now for these bottom, you just kind of slide your scissors in. Yes, I told you get this little container and then they don't always go where you want them to go. And cut that corner there. And again, you're going to just slide your one of your blades of your scissors in and do that trim. Up oh, that little snippet. And this one, last but not least. And you can see where we're cutting these little corners. If we didn't have any glue there, it might separate out. So you want some glue on there. And what I'm talking about, see where you can see this underneath here, but you look over there and like it's fine. Well, you don't need to worry about that because when you put it on a page, you will not see the other side. So it really doesn't matter. Matta, matta, matta. Okay, and then this one we can, let's see, let's put this little red one on the side. It can go just like that on the side. And then this blue one, I've got an envelope there. You can just slide right down there. And they go nice and flush to the top of your page. If you don't want them to go flush, you would just pull your clip up just a bit or make a trim. And I wanted to say that. So if you're lucky enough that when you print, you don't get this white edge up here, you may need to make some adjustments so that your when you fold up, it's not going past your middle fold. Okay? You need to just trim it off a little bit. And then if you wanted to have these, for instance, if you wanted this to poke out and be like a uh, tab. Oh, come on, Pat. There we go. If you wanted it to come out and be like a tab, you would just pull your clip down and make your adjustments with your paper. Or just don't put it all the way onto your page like that. Okay? All right. That is it for today. I hope that this gets you as excited as me. This kit will be available on my in my on my Etsy shop later today I will make sure that I don't post this until it is available I'll put the links below and you need to stay tuned because I've got all kinds of things swirling around in my little brain so if you found me serendipitously please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Encourage me. Go Pat. Go. And ring the bell if you want to know when I'm out creating. And I also have a Facebook group and freebies are posted there pretty regularly. And it's Patresca Papers Facebook group. And I'll link that down below also. All right. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you're all doing well. And take care and we'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.